Autism spectrum disorder, like some health concerns, is not contagious or infectious. Autism can be prevented and corrected with healthy lifestyle and during pregnancy. Early diagnosis through observation of some red flags, which has led most sufferers to become renowned in various fields of endeavors. The numerical strength of this special group of people who have excelled is still very minimal due to stigmatization and parents' negligence and sometimes denial. Mitigating these social issues against autism, autism spectrum disorder, is a concern on Panorama from Port Harcourt Network Center. I am Jenny Passi. Welcome. You can follow this news. Meanwhile, you can follow this news on our website, NTA NG slash live, and on YouTube, NTA News Online. You can also visit our Facebook page on NTA Network News and follow us on Twitter at NTA News Now and on Instagram on NTA Network for updates. President Muhammadu Buhari joins world leaders in welcoming the month of Ramadan the month of fasting and intense devotion for Muslims. In a message to Nigerians and Muslims all over the world, the president said the period offers a unique opportunity to feel the hunger experienced by the poor, so as to feel what it is like to be deprived and marginalized. Muslims, the president emphasized, should seek greater personal discipline, which is necessary for the realization of a great nation. He also called for prayers for peace in the country and beyond and for healing and harmony throughout the world. He wished all Muslims successful completion of the 30-day fasting period. Meanwhile, President of uh, Senate Ahmed Lawan has facilitated with all Nigerians, particularly the Muslim Ummah, as they enter the holy month of Ramadan. A statement by the President of the Senate noted that Ramadan is the month when Muslims across the world observe one of the five pillars of their faith, share with their neighbors and show love to all people around them. A period of spiritual reflection, abstinence, sacrifice and supplications to the Almighty Allah. He urged Muslims to use the period to pray for Nigeria as the holy month of Ramadan thus provides the faithful the opportunity to commune with Allah and live as his prophet and enjoins Muslims to do as they seek his blessings and mercies. And still on the holy month of Ramadan, Imam Mustafa Agberere, an Islamic scholar, speaks on the lessons of Ramadan. is a month, the ninth month of our, uh, Islam, the fasting cannot be done in the eighth month. If the eighth month has not completed and the moon has not been sighted, you cannot do Ramadan. That is the essence of waiting until when the Muslim leader in the community will tell and confirm that a moon has been sighted and it has been confirmed at that point in time then you now tell the Muslim community to begin the fasting. Have the inward connection with your God. Because it's about closeness to him. God wants you to leave all those things. That is why I say abstain from food, from drink, from the uh, dawn of the Ramadan until the sun sets. away from Ramadan, the African road builders have in their last edition of their conference in Cairo, Egypt, pronounced President Muhammadu Buhari as the winner of the 2021 Super Prize Great Builder Trophy Bakaka Ndia Award. The formal presentation of the award took place in Abuja. Abdullahi Mohammed chronicles the road to the selection of the president.
Taking the cameras to the skies could only get a bit closer to the sentence used by the African Road Builders Award Committee in describing their reasons for selecting President Muhammad Buhari as the winner of the year 2021 Babakar Ndai Trophy. <laughs> Unprecedented infrastructure development, they say. But most importantly for the committee is that highways and bridges built in the last seven years in Nigeria are shoulders, elbows and knees to the 56.6 thousand kilometers trans-African highways. Unlocking series of sources of funding with the presidential order seven top in the books makes the difference in building one of Africa's biggest road infrastructure. And after pronouncing President Muhammad Bahari as a winner of the 2021 Babakar Ndai Trophy, it's time for the formal presentation. Mr. Watson. Our work in Nigeria does not end with this award. Mr. President, not only led by example in this regard, but also inspired leaders of some nationals across Nigeria. The seventh edition of the African Road Builders Conference also took place in Nigeria, where Tanzania president was declared winner of the year 2022 Babakar Ndai Trophy. Babakar Ndai Trophy 2022. Her strides in the reform of the Tanzania Railways was key in her selection. In Abuja, Abdullahi Mohammed, NT News. Cybercrime Advisory Council is to embark on additional cybersecurity sensitization for stakeholders launch cybersecurity toolkits for MSMEs and relevant agencies on cybersecurity resilience. The National Security Advisor, Major General Babagana Mongunu, who presided over the ninth meeting of the Council, agreed to protect critical national information, especially telecommunications assets, and to strengthen efforts to sensitize state government on emerging threats. As part of measures to address emerging cyber threats heightened by the Russia-Ukraine crisis, it has increased its routine monitoring activities and advisories to relevant stakeholders and held sectorial computer security incident response teams to facilitate incident management coordination sharing mechanism. The appeal court sitting in Enugu has affirmed the judgment of a Boy State High Court Abakliki, which dismissed a suit filed by Senator Sonny Okwoji challenging the defection of Governor David Omahi as his dep and his deputy governor, Dr. Kelechi Igwe, from People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the All Progressives Congress, APC, for lacking in merit. Chika Okwere reports. Filed by Senator Sonny Obuoji and his running mate, Mr. Justin Ugodo, as the 2019 APC gubernatorial candidates in Ebony State, sought the High Court sitting in Abakaliki to sack Governor David Umahe and his deputy on account of defection and install them. When the case was dismissed for lack of merit, the plaintiffs approached the appeal court for the same papers. Delivering judgment at the appellate court, a three-man panel unanimously affirmed the ruling of Abakaliki High Court that the defection of Governor Omahi and his deputy from the People's Democratic Party PDP to the All Progressives Congress APC neither breached any provision of the Constitution nor the Electoral Arts. The Constitution of Nigeria has not provided that if a governor defects from uh, the party that sponsored him into office to another party, he thereby loses his office. It is mere rascality. To us, we we'll get a copy of it and study it carefully and meet with our client and not the next step to take. Meanwhile, Ebony State Governor Chief David Umahi described the judgment as a victory for all. And for this, you are very grateful. So congratulations to all of you. In Abakaliki, Chika Okori, NTA News. Stigmatization and discrimination associated with neurological differences remain an obstacle to diagnosis and therapies. 
An issue experts say must be addressed by both public policymakers in developing nations as well as donor countries as a world marks autism day. Ijoma Gweke reports. World Autism Day was declared by the United Nations and celebrated on April 2nd. The day is used to highlight and raise awareness on the need to help improve the quality of life of those living with autism in order for them to live meaningful life. Autism is a lifelong neurological condition that manifests during early childhood, irrespective of gender, race, or socioeconomic status. Sufferers, just like nine-year-old Daniel Olimide, are often characterized by their unique social interaction, non-standard ways of learning, and keen interest in specific subjects. Others are inclination to routines, challenge in typical communication, and difficulty in working. Their developmental milestones is very slow. They don't crawl when other children start crawling. They are slower. It has not been easy. I've been backing him. He couldn't walk. We've been to several hospitals in Nigeria. I think children with um, uh, autism is not easy because they are always restless. So we have to do a lot of therapy to make sure that they stay in a place. And one of those therapies is um, that you make the class where they are very colorful. While the characteristics of autism spectrum differ, the need for appropriate support, right policies on special education, accommodation and acceptance of sufferers of this neurological condition to enable them enjoy effective participation in the society. It, uh, and of course, even goal for the sustainable development goals, you know, uh, encourages uh, that, uh, that Nigeria is signatory to anyways, encourages that um, certain rights and privileges uh, be ascribed to persons with uh, certain challenges. The theme for the 2022 World Autism Awareness Day Observance, Inclusive Education, is linked with the focus of last year's observance, which is inclusion in the workplace. In Port Harcourt, Ijomu Weke, NTA News. And with me in the studio to discuss the causes of autism and ways to mitigate stigmatization with children living with autism is Sylvia Ome. Sylvia Ome is a behavior and speech therapist. It is my pleasure to have you on Panorama this afternoon. Thank you very much. Yes, um, today is World Autism Day. Yes. Yes. Now tell us the causes or factors that could predispose a mother to having a child with autism. Okay, thank you. Um, presently, for now, from the research that is available, they've not been able to link, to link a particular um, factor that is as a cause for autism. Although generally, um, contrary to um, the pre the what people feel that lifestyle of the mother, um, alcohol, and all those factors causes autism, but research has debunked most of this and has gone because you find out that there are parents who have those lifestyle and they have neurotypical children. So with that being said, I think research so far has um, only the only factor that they have been that one can successfully say is a cause for autism is genetics, because they've been um, they've, it, it has been proven that when once there's a once there's a, someone with autism in the family, it increases the risk of another member of the family be, being autistic. Okay, you know, autism is a medical condition. Now, is it a, a sickness? Can it be prevented? Can it be corrected? Or cured if it's a sickness. Autism is not a sickness. Autism is is a developmental challenge. People that have autism are just like every other member of the society, but just that they have challenges in their communication, challenges in their behavior, and one or two areas of their life, like their academic life, where they may be struggling. It does not have a cure. It has, but with effective therapy, these people can actually grow up to be better members of the society. They can even function properly. So that, I, so that 
should, that should be the goal of every parent that has a child with autism. The goal shouldn't be how do we cure this. It should be how do we make this child better? How do we harness the strength of this child so that this child grows up to function? And that brings us to stigmatization. Yes. Now, how can we mitigate stigmatization and other issues affecting people living with autism? Uh, well, stigmatization... It's a major, a major challenge that we are having because there have been cases where parents who have these kids with autism lock them away because they are, um, um, they are afraid of what people is going to think of them. There have been cases where they've been pushing blame like it's the mother's fault, it's the father's fault and things like that. And they are not helping. Other, some other member of the society even feel it's contagious. So when they know that this family has a child with autism, they, as much as possible, avoid that family member. So that is why in um, April 2nd, being the Autism Awareness Day, we are the voice to say stop the stigmatization policies should be made to help inclusion this autism is not contagious those people they are just like us they are members of the society and you associating with them does not in any way predisposes you or any member of your family from developing autism and sometimes they tag them as obanji Oh, yes, in, that is pretty common in this, in this part of our country because, be, because of the lack of understanding, I think. So what people don't understand, they tend to push it towards superstition. But autism is just the brain functioning differently, the wiring of the brain, in, uh, interpreting things differently. So they don't see the world the way we see the world. It doesn't mean that they are any less. Now, how can we care for children living with autism? Okay, there are several ways to care for them, but it stems first of all from early intervention. That is why in, we are also pushing for to see how, um, if it is possible, how tests can be done earlier on to see, because most of these red flags, these signs of autism, can show themselves as early as six months when you notice that the child is not holding eye contact to the mom, the child doesn't seem to recognize the mom, the child does not turn when there is this noise or a sound, the child seems detached. So if as early on as that, you notice that there is no that connection to the child's environment, you should raise concern because at that early stage, effect, once effective therapy starts, starts at that early stage, the child can be put in place. There's speech therapy to make them communicate better because most of them struggle with effective communication. Mm -hmm. There's behavior therapy to help them curb off some behaviors that are not socially acceptable. Okay, thank you so much. But before I let you go, what's your parting word? as the world marks what is in day. My parting word is inclusion, inclusion, inclusion. <laughs> These people, they are there and they are there to stay. They are not growing up. A child with autism grows up to be an adult with autism. So the earlier we come to terms with it and include them in our daily lives, I think the better it will be for us all. Thank you so much, Silva, yeah, for coming you. on Panorama thank this you. afternoon. That was Silva Ome, a behavior and speech therapist. We'll now pause for a break. Panorama continues shortly. The vaccine offers hope for a safe country free of coronavirus. I urge all state governments, traditional and religious leaders, to take the lead in the mobilization effort within their environment and spheres of influence. I similarly urge all eligible Nigerians to present themselves and be vaccinated in accordance with the order of priority already mapped out at the various authorized designated centers only. back. You can follow this news on our website, ATANG slash live. You can also visit our YouTube channel on ATA News Online. You can visit our Facebook page on ATA Network News and follow us on Twitter at ATA News Now and on Instagram, ATA Network for updates. 
As Nigeria grapples to overcome recent terrorist train attack and other acts of violence perpetrated by avowed enemies of the nation, the governing All Progressives Congress has cautioned the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP to avoid comments that are capable of causing further grief. In a statement, National Publicity Secretary of APC Felix Mokka said the APC-led government is complicit is complicit in the heinous train attack in which some innocent people lost their lives, several injured and others unaccounted for. However, the statement adds that it is insensitive for the PDP to seek to politicize a terrorist attack that cuts short the lives of people for its own base interest. The APC reminded the opposition that President Swift's response to the tragic event as he met with security chiefs and directed the immediate conclusion of all processes for implementation of the integrated security surveillance and monitoring system solution for Abuja Kaduna rail line, as well as the extension of the ISM solution to cover the Lagos Ibadan rail line is timely. APC, the statement added, remains committed to working with relevant authorities in bringing the perpetrators of these despicable acts to justice. And Director General Nigeria Television Authority Malam Yakubu Ibu Mohammed says engaging media practitioners in addressing security challenges in the country will help in providing accurate information hold fake news and motivate security agencies in the discharge of their mandate. The Director General said this in a lecture titled Addressing Security Imperatives in Nigeria, the role of the media at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Jaji Suleiman Rigachinkum reports. As complex and dynamic the challenge of terrorism, banditry and agitation, the approach to surmount this requires multifaceted approach involving critical stakeholders. One of the platforms for stakeholders' engagement, bringing together security services and the media for truthful and objective discussion on variant national security issues, is exercise has KBU of the Armed Forces Command and Staff College Jaji. Our interactions with the media is increasing. Presenting a paper to participants on the topic, addressing security imperatives in Nigeria, the role of the media, represented by the Zonal Director NTA Kaduna Network Center, Hamza Musa Makaripi. Director General Nigerian Television Authority, Malem Yakub Ibn Muhammad said, no matter the circumstances, Nigerian media must be patriotic, objective, and unifying. No matter the odds, no matter the difficulties we see in this country, no matter the challenges, the Nigerian Television Authority stands as a unifier. We want to bring unity to Nigerian people. The Director General emphasized the need for mutual respect, timely alertness on security breach between security agencies and the media for proper information dissemination to the public. Selema Rigachikung, NTA News. The media across various nations play a very important role in the efficient administration of the society. As Nigeria inches towards another general elections, concerned stakeholders say the role of the media welfare of journalists and their protection remain key concerns for considerations. Kinsley Amajiri reports. How important is the media to the society and how critical are the function of the media to the overall development of our nation's democracy? as Nigeria inches towards another electionary year. A journalist uh, or a media practitioner should be able to know that primarily your responsibility is to the people. How does your journalism affect the people? Public should be able to know what and what is happening within this period. It is basically the role of media to forestall compromise and ensure objective reportage. Proponents want the journalists to be properly remunerated and their security guaranteed to serve the society better. The welfare of the journalists is not compromisable. One, their salaries, they have children. They will leave their children. Sometimes they will go out three, four months, they have not come back. 
to their homes. I want the, the federal government and every arm of government to rethink over the welfare of the journalists. People are saying that the police should be well paid because people are having the impression that why police take bribe is because they are not well paid. The same thing is applicable to the journalists. With the political process already in motion, the media observers say should rise to the occasion of adequately informing and educating the populace on their roles while also setting agenda for efficient functioning of the nation's democracy. In Port Harcourt, Kingsley Amajuri, NTA News. And that's it on Panorama from Port Harcourt Network Center. Let's continue to join hands with NTA in the fight against rape and rapists. Good afternoon.